And tonight, state senators have passed a bill that will require sex trafficking education in schools in hopes of preventing it from happening to more teens across the state. King 5's Julie Calhoun joining us in the newsroom tonight. So this legislation was written by a local teenager, right? Joyce, right? And it's impressive. A 17-year-old senior coming up with a legislation that could require students in 7th through 12th grades to have sex trafficking education, the ages that are most vulnerable to becoming victims. Maria, will you please stand? Honestly, surreal. Um, it was something beyond my wildest dreams. That unbelievable moment for 17-year-old Ria Bahadur when state senators unanimously passed legislation she wrote. The engrossed Senate Bill 5355 is declared passed. Ria, a senior at Eastside Prep, is tackling human trafficking. It's an issue she started taking on when she was just 12 years old after reading a book and learning that Washington is the sixth largest epicenter for sex trafficking in the U.S. I think it was just the fact that we had such a huge violation of human rights on our hands that wasn't being talked about or represented correctly, even if it was. Rhea started working with Senator Wilson and this summer wrote legislation that's making its way through the state house. If passed, schools will be required to teach sex trafficking prevention and identification. It needs to just be heard one time between grades 7 and 12, enough to just make a tiny lasting impression, but that impression could save 20 years of somebody's life. Rhea created the curriculum that currently doesn't exist in schools, but could help save lives. An alarming statistic shows that more than 45% of all sex trafficking victims are minors in schools. 12 to 18 is the most vulnerable age for a reason. It is this lack of education that sex traffickers have exploited since time immemorial to get youth into this crime, to physically, sexually, and psychologically manipulate them into doing actions that violate their own bodies. Rhea says the course is a step towards progress on an issue that can't be ignored. I don't expect that every single student is going to walk out of their and try and reach out to the nearest nonprofit to stop sex trafficking. But I do expect that it leaves such a mark on their minds where they can at least save themselves and members of their family or their community from it happening to them. And that in itself is enough of a change. Another bill to help survivors of human trafficking pass the Senate today. It will create a network of healing services and support for survivors across the state. Both bills now head to the House. Back to you.